Greetings, my fellow Glitterworld Empire Royals. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech, the first Wendigo. Episode 46, 20 for Honor. Yes, that's a bad play on words. Deal with it. And then I'll figure out uh, what other eggs I want to fertilize at some point. Um, I'm just juggling other things. So one thing I should probably do is eat curiosity. So that I don't have the colonist unburied uh, pen, uh, mood penalty. So I'm going to have Mass butcher his fiance. Because um, that seems ethical to me. Oh man. As soon as I think I hit like a new low of darkness, um, Brimworld is like, nope, nope, it goes deeper. It gets worse. Cheers. And hold up, put that meat down. Uh, how do I do this well to make sure that uh, mass is the first one to... Yeah, just eat the raw food. There you go. No, I don't really care. I just wanted to make sure that mass had a nibble, a nibble of the beloved. So, done. Problem solved. Do I need to wait for Mastiga? Uh, probably. No, actually, she doesn't care. She's a guest. She's not like a, a member. Uh, so, or or maybe she's just dumb and doesn't notice. Whatever the case is, it benefits me. So, uh, so the ones I really want to keep, uh, I need two pacification xenogerms to keep them pacified. Uh, Impids are very, other than the breath attack, which could be very, very, very annoying, they're very easy to keep as prisoners because they are horrible at melee, uh, and they heal slow, meaning that the time it takes for them to recover from each, like, berserk or rebellion or whatever is a long time. Fox is out in five hours, Wally in 12. Mastica's staying happy, that's 1.5 days away. I do have a big quest to vote on soon, which is the Wanted Prisoner's Quest. Uh, so as soon as Mastic is out, you guys will vote on that. Would it be beneficial just to stockpile all the eggs in the bio lab instead of the main stock room? Um, it would be useful to stock them here, I think. I would want them near an orbital trade beacon because uh, a lot of the eggs I just want to sell. So that's a, that's a good point. I'll just dump them here. The only issue with this is not everyone has access, access to this room, but that's fine. And I, I don't want to put the eggs on a shelf because it's then very hard to figure out the eggs. Like certain items are horrible to put on a shelf unless you can put only the one. So things like eggs, which each individual egg is unique and different on a shelf is just probably horrifying. Uh. Ovum and fertilized. What are they even called? Oh, embryo. Yeah. Okay. Do raids attack mech bosses? Yes. So the way the mech bosses work is if you call the mech bosses in, they will wait until there's not threats on the map tile to arrive. For balancing reasons, I guess, which is too bad. So if, if I had, uh, let's say, a siege that were shelling my base and I called in a Diabolist, the Diabolist wouldn't show up until that siege went away. However, if you cause um, enemies to arrive while the mech boss is staging, the mech boss and the enemies will fight one another. So for instance, if you had a bunch of wild animals and the mech boss arrived and you hit an animal pulser, the animals will kill the mech boss. Or if you can somehow perfectly arrange it that you get raided by another faction and they happen to be in the same vicinity of one another, uh, they will fight one another. So it's it they, it's designed, the game was designed, other than the animal pulser, to be very, it, for it to be very difficult to basically have the mech boss fought by some other entity. The animal pulser is the one exception 
but because I'm on a ice sheet with zero animals, that's not a that's not a weapon I can use. Not normally. Not not unless um uh, there, there is a caveat. So so some of the like monument quests where it's like if this monument is damaged, fifty mega slots will arrive and try to kill you. Right? Like if I had a quest like that, I could build the monument and just have the monument sitting in my base. And then the moment the mech boss arrives, just go clunk to the monument, and then all of a sudden the monument spawns mega slods or whatever animal it is. That's a really, really good way. I love monument quests that do that because you can basically just summon a swarm of angry animals on demand, which is I've used constantly. Uh, for someone that watches my channel uh, regularly, I'm sure you've seen me use that technique because it's um, it's super efficient <laughs> to uh, to do. But yeah, um, and and when Biotech first released, you could use lances on the bosses, like Insanity and Shock Lances, uh, and that was in no way balanced, so that got repaired as well. One, if you, if you have tons of resources, the only, the, one of the biggest advantages, I know I'm going off on a tangent, but one of the biggest weaknesses of the mech bosses is they never sap, they never breach, they're always mazeable. So if you wanted to, you could build a really, really long um, spike trap or deadfall trap maze or or IEDs or whatever your explosion of choice maze. But if you used a bunch of spike traps, uh, you could very easily kill. It would be very expensive, but you could very easily destroy mech waves uh, for the most part because most of the bosses are the slowest. It wouldn't really work all that well against the War Queen because they'll send a bunch of urchins and the urchins will sacrifice themselves and use up your spike traps. But against the Diabolises and the Apocritons, uh, just a, a long line of spike traps where you force the mech boss to march through the spike traps um, is a very effective way to kill those mech bosses. It's just a huge resource sink. Um, so if you have a large colony that can make a ton of like stone traps, because steel is usually harder to, re uh, to well, whatever, any trap. But yeah, that, that would be one way that would work really effectively against Apocritons and um, and uh, Diabolises. Uh, you might be able to make it work against the War Queen, but uh, but it would be a little bit more challenging because the War Queen, there were War Queen's special abilities that she spawns war urchins like three little robots out constantly, and they move faster than her, so they um, they act as cannon fodder, which means that. Um, turrets and spike traps and things that rely upon just attacking whatever's nearest uh, doesn't work effectively against War Queens. But War Queen's weakness is that other than the War Urchin ability, um, she doesn't really do anything else. So if you can isolate her, it it's game over. You also can't skip them, uh, I should add. They're unskippable. Uh, that's a recent update as well. So big things can't be skipped. Uh... So like Thrumbos, Elephants, Diabolises, War Queens, they, you can't skip them. And then Apocritons you can't skip because he's like, uh, he's a psychasting robot. So he has skip immunity as well. Not because he's big. Uh, it's, it, the Apocritons a small robot, but, but is unskippable nonetheless. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Unskippable, like the worst ads. <laughs> I don't have... Oh, no, I do have fermenting barrels. Hey, uh... T no, I'll start that soon. Hey, bud. So we should have a bit of a moment of peace. If we look at the graph here, you can see... I did have long, empty stints here, which was fantastic. But, um... But, yeah, Mastic is only here for basically one more day. So, should be kind of peaceful. Five more hours to call in the trade caravan, and I'm going to call them in for sure. The, uh... <laughs> he's so cute. The, um... The tech prints could be really, really useful. So, taking a look at the tech prints, I already have one of two cataphract armor. So, I'm really hoping to get the other half. Unfortunately, Curiosity was, well, my researcher when Wendy's busy. And Curiosity got nibbled to death. I'm going to turn off the research benches so that when Wendy's done uh, meditating or sitting on the throne, she creates the 
uh, Xenogerms to implant Vichnath and Kavaz. And then uh, maybe do a corpse exchange or Korov as well. I could do that now. Yeah, let's do that now. Why not? So the corpse exchange ritual, for those that do not know or do not remember, is one where we sacrifice one prisoner, hoping for a 50% chance to gain a new one. So Korov dies and hopefully someone new shows up. A good way to like uh, recycling organs, right? Body recycling, just not at 100% efficiency. What's why are you just joy fuzzed? Yeah, you're just joy fuzz happy. I was like, your fiance just died, and you're as happy as I've ever seen you. Hey, it worked! Wall! Hi. God, you're ugly. You look uh you look like a wool ad. Child spy, contract miner, uh baseliner. So baseliners, for the record, can only ever be slaves in the colony or prisoners. They can't be full colonists. It's not allowed uh, via the rules. Psych def, which is interesting, depressive and great memory. Psych def is interesting because, you know, immune to psych casts. Uh, mining, social, 48 years old. I think straight to jail. Or meat. Probably meat. Uh, this is not a slave that is... So, the, one of the big things... Oh, well... No, actually, it could be enslave. I take that back. Yeah, I think slave. Because uh, we're, we have deep drills, but we have no one to run the deep drilling. So, if I gave Wald uh, drill hands and stuck him on a deep drill, he, that might be useful. Which means uh, that if that is my... I'll, I'll pull you guys. You, you'll make the decision. But what to do with Wald? Slave, corpse. Yeah, really, it's just slave or corpse, right? Like, one or the other. So, slave or corpse. <laughs> it's like the Eddie Izzard skit. Cake or death? Uh, cake, please. And I'm going to put you behind the walls. So, if you're going to be either a slave or a corpse... Yeah, just, just come on in. In fact, I'm going to dress you up like a slave, and then if you are going to be a corpse, I'll just change it. Oh, a little Parduke ran out of power because these, these little bully haulers hogged the, uh, hogged the recharger. Oops. Darn. Uh, I forgot to follow up. How close was I? No, <laughs> not even close. I used Glorold meds and you still died 100 to 67. Yeah, I'm glad I wasn't a bookie on that one. Definitely would have lost. Well, I guess it's good that we have you alive. I would say alive and well, but I'd be lying. So, G you, whatever your name is, uh, you're going to go through the extracting. Fleshless shape. I did say I was going to circle back to that. Production, art, steel. I really don't have an art bench. I guess I really don't. I, I mean, it's Wendy. She doesn't care for art. Really, she cares for corpses. Uh, she's gonna be the artist, I suppose. So that is the fleshless shape. It's gonna be fifty materials. I'll make it a slate. I'm gonna continue to have her. Um, 
Walt needs a, a food restriction? Yeah, good call. Um, and work and everything else. I haven't really done any of that. You have a medical emergency because of blood loss. Okay, so slave it is. Uh, that means a raffle is afoot. Good luck. I'm switching the beds around here uh, because I just realized that T saying was on a normal quality bed, which makes zero sense. So if you are a slave or will be, the other thing I'm going to need to address is slave clothing. Um, if Wald is going to be a miner, uh, it's going to be really important for me to have as warm of a tribal wear and toque as possible so that Wald won't constantly be hypothermic and lose fingers because losing fingers makes for a very ineffective slave. I do have some mega sloth wool and that's perfect. I'm going to make a, uh, a mega sloth tribal wear and a mega sloth toque. And then a slave body strap out of, what is the warmest? Probably heavy fur is going to be the warmest. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have warmth memorized. The, um, the tribal wear and the toque are the most... The, are, are the clothing that is going to affect warmth way more significantly. So, insulation heat. There's actually, Cathanon made a mod for this, and um, I don't have it installed. But, um, heavy fur insulation heat is actually not, or cold, rather. Yeah, is, is probably the best. 54 Fahrenheit. Um, the wool is 61 yeah, uh, so for the body strap, I wish you could just like, well, here's another mod request. I wish you could just click these to see what they were. That way you didn't have to like go and find them. So bear skin's 36. Yeah, heavy, heavy fur is going to be way, way better. And I, I wouldn't ever give slaves thrombo because thrombo is amazing, but like thrombo's mine. And then a slave collar. And that's there. So let's do heavy fur and steel. T saying you're going to get to work. What is your deal, dude? Actually, before you drop that, uh, what is, why are you so moody? Yeah, that's going to change quick. Put your gun away. Have you start gearing up. And when he will arrest you. And then eventually enslave you. So the slave clothing will be available uh, once he's out. You, we will enslave. Oh, you're already asleep? That's just annoying. Do you have it written down? Yeah, I, th I think that would be a, an incredibly useful one to be like, all right, so what materials came alive? What materials fall for fucks? I don't. Yeah, the, nothing here is clickable. It would be nice to just have it break out to the right so that 
you didn't have to have an encyclopedic memory to be a good crafter. Cause ain't nobody got time for that. Hey, Wally. I think, uh, I think, how many, how many times have you died? Is that, is that in your record? No? That's too bad. Um, because I feel like he has died so many times. Hey, Mahai Goku. Uh, you win a lot. <laughs> Congrats. It's it's rigged. Twenty-one kills. True, true. But you gotta you gotta realize some of those kills were like probably on like mega scarabs. Mask, go eat. Quit fussing. Uh, Kish, what are you working on? Where is the Kish? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is exactly what I would want Kish to do, so... Good on you for doing that. So this slave body strap... Heat cold, almost six degrees. That actually might be better than T-Sang's, but T-Sang spends most of uh, his time indoors. So... It's not important for T-Sing to have as much insulation. But, but, uh, but yeah. But I'll have T-Sing wear the Masterwork collar. Give the hand-me-down down one, because actually this collar was the wrong material. Make this collar out of heavy fur. Uh, wait, but there, there it is. I made it out of steel. I gave steel and heavy fur an option, but that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so this collar is... Oh, right, collars don't even do... Okay, I'm stupid. I should have just done human leather. Whatever, I have a spare collar. It's not a big deal. So the fleshless shape... Okay, Wendy, you're currently constructing... Instead, let's have you work on art. Wow, that was, um, oh, no, 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 actually, Xenogerming. Yeah. That was fast. Someone wants to fast track organ loss. I'm kidding. Well, sort of. And we will implant Mike with uh, Pacified Plus. Wendy, stop trying to pray. Does that make sense? Awful crafting, awful cooking. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. The only thing I wanted to make sure is not to give awful mining, because that wouldn't make any sense for... Uh, for... Mike, but that's not part of the Pacified Plus implantation. So you are going to get Pacified Plus. You are going to get one as well. Hey, Fat Dave. Thanks for the gifted subs. And Emporio and Sky, thank you for the sub as well. Cheers to all three of you. A friend of Wendy is a friend of mine. Oh no, what happened? Um, uh, Sorry, Queen Curiosity. You... You became your lunch. You're delicious, though. So Mike needs it, and then Jevaz. I could implant Jevaz with it, um, 
But I'm not going to waste that. I'm going to have T saying practice his surgery by ripping off his legs. I think that's uh, what I'd rather do. All right, Mastica, seven hours. That's all it is. So with Mastica about to be gone, let's vote on this. So the Yeoman of the Glitter Royal Empire seeks my help. Basically, they want me to house two prisoners for 20 days. And I will be raided by Tox Blighters. And the only reward that I would consider in this instance would be the honor. Because Wendy's goal is to become a countess. So um, a countess she will become. So should we accept the prisoner quest? Host two prisoners for 20 days for 12 honor, and fight two raids of about 55 wasters, which is a total of 110. Yes or no? Are there things that you would rather see me do? Uh, the alternative here, just for reference before you start voting, because I know a bunch of you have voted, is I do have a ancient mechanator complex to potentially raid, which... I don't know, maybe you'd rather see me do or uh, improving the base or some other some other priority. Because if you vote for this, it means you're not voting for, you know, something else that can be done because these kind of quests uh, take a, a considerable amount of time and, and energy, usually. Oh, growth moment for Soups. Soups is now jealous. <laughs> okay. I mean, I could deal with jealousy. It's it's fine. Jealousy is just, you know, they want an imp uh, a nice bedroom. Uh, the most impressive bedroom? I mean, that's not going to happen because obviously Soups is not going to get a more impressive bedroom than Wendy. But, uh, but the mood penalty for not fulfilling that is not a big deal. Just ignore him. Him? Ignore her. Sorry. Oh, the tearing off your leg didn't work. Well, oh well. Guess I'm just going to have to tend you more. This is how you train medicine very effectively. In fact, if you turned off the lights in the room and did it with a uh, sleep spot, he would feel a lot more and have a lot more uh, patching opportunities. Nothing like whispering extra war crimes, right? When in doubt, add them and keep them on. So, Mike, we wanted to implant you with uh, Pacified Plus. And uh, that is going to be the last Xenogerm that we will do. Or actually, no, 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 before that, hold up. Let me analyze if there's something better that we can do out of that. And I just found, I think, was this my first underground scan? I don't think I've found anything. Yeah, yeah, this is the first one. The very first. So besides Pacify Plus, can we make it better for Mike? So the complexity is already maxed. Um, I would say actually violence disabled for a slave is not useful. So I'm going to get rid of that. Because violence disabled means that I won't be able to like give him a smoke launcher, EMP launcher, or whatever, or grenades, or whatever I want. So that's actually bad. Um, poor animals is fine maybe actually add robust uh, and reduced pain and then we're at complexity max what was his cooking actually before I even decide this because we do need another cook. Did you have any pro- No, no. Four? Okay. Uh, that's a no-go. All right, let's put this together. So dead calm, robust, awful crafting, reduced pain. Well, actually, I don't care if you feel pain. Uh, awful cooking. 
And maybe I can have, well, no, slaves can't do intellectual tasks. Never mind. I was going to be like, maybe I can have another researcher, but yeah, that doesn't work. Furry tail, awful shooting. Furry tail will keep you warmer. Yeah, that'll work. And I'll call this the Mahai Goku uh, Xenotype. Uh, in here, I'm going to also stockpile Xenogerms with the eggs, because I think that makes sense. Do you need to do... Yeah, you need to eat. Oh, there you go. Okay, so there's Mike as a slave. I think I made the Xenogerm. No, I didn't finish it. And we will be accepting it. Okay, uh, I am probably going to wait until Mastica is out. The likelihood of uh, the Tox Blighters arriving before in the first, like, two hours of the quest is almost zero. But... It would be really stupid to fail one quest by accepting another. That would be like, uh, like just about the stupidest thing I could possibly do. Um, so for you, no interaction, because I think that's what we have T Sync set at. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mike, actually, before you go and clothe yourself, uh, smoke launcher. And then one of the positive things that we're going to be able to do is I did keep Jevaz. So now I can maximize Mike's um, suppression by slitting Jevaz's throat on the altar. Yeah. Efficiency. Dreadful efficiency, but efficiency nonetheless. And then Mike, that also means that um, you need work priorities. So you... Oh, man, my doctoring. Oosh. Um, will basically mine for me. If it matters, T Sangs is set to suppress. Oh, well, he's maximum suppression, uh, I guess. So I'll just keep suppressing Mike too. But but we don't need to suppress T Sang because he's wearing a strap and collar and uh, is already at a hundred. Once you're at a hundred, there's no, you, you, you know, you don't. Suppression is no longer a factor. You want supercharge? Go get it. Stop pissing and moaning. I also forgot to call in the trade caravan because I always, always, always do. How did Mike... Oh, okay, they said no. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I just realized, like, how is Mike actually calling them in? He's not a uh, a knight. And then, yeah, the game's like, duh, nope, that's not going to work for you, dude. Okay, perfect. So I got a trade caravan coming in. Oh. Oh my lord. It's like the same... It's the same quest. It's the same exact quest. I mean, with more cord allies. But this is the impid quest that I literally just did. This... Oh wait, is this historical? No, no, no. This is not historical. Man, this... Um, blows my mind for, for, for those that don't know why it blows my mind we had just we're, we're, we're literally no wait, wait, I might yeah right because it's like the same quest 12 honor to kill you know a handful of impids and this is 12 honor to kill a handful of impids uh we're gonna have to pick one I'm really not going to be able to do both. Well, no, I mean, I could, but it, it would be pretty dangerous. Um, do we consider doing both honor quests? Yes or no? So if you vote yes, just to explain this, it basically means that 100% of everything for the remainder of this stream is dedicated to preparing for the four mega raids we're going to get. 
um, because both of the raids are going to... Uh, all four raids that are going to come in are double-sized, so it's really dangerous. Uh, if you vote no, I do one of I do one of them, and you're going to pick which one. Or, or alternatively, none. The, there will be a choice between do the prison, do the dame, or do ni uh, neither. Even though we had voted previ previously to... Uh, to this is a bad way to poll. Uh, let me let me do this better. What honor quests should we consider? Do both. Do the prison hosting to fight wasters. Do the um, dame hosting to fight impids. Do neither. There we go. Far more elegant. I apologize for the double pulling. And Mastic is out of here. Get in and get gone. So uh, I do think... I don't know what difference Mastic's bedroom is going to require if we do host the dame. But I it frees up that bedroom too. And then now Wendy is a baron. Well... Will soon be a Baroness. Uh, slow Wayne. I am going to need another one of these chargers, aren't I? Uh, I was uh, planning on putting the charger... Like embedding the charger in the wall. Or something. Yeah, I'm going to put it here. That way it's like... Very easy for Parduke to use it. And eight seconds left on this Xenogerm. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, there it's done. Before all of the potential raids come in, I should get his Xenogerm coma over with. Wait, why are you... Oh, for your egg. Just, oh, we ripped your tongue out. That's right. I forgot that I had queued that up. This table's just so that I don't have to go sprinting across the map when I want to have a meal without a table. Uh, there is the question of embryos. I'll take a look at that soon. I've been meaning to. I've just been juggling other tasks but to try to figure out if there's uh, a good candidate. Pick the best egg. What happened to Rosie the Roomba? Oh, she's right here. She's uh, charging. She's fine. Didn't I say get rid of the stupid cables underneath? Why did the cables not get destroyed? That's weird.
Do I have two free? Yeah, I do have two free prison spots. Um, if those prisoners are coming in, are they going to be paralyzed? Because it looks like you guys are voting yes on both. They'll have blood rot, but not paralysis. So let's make another pacified. So that both prisoners are... Uh, cannot fight me. Wendy, that... The, the, oh, I mean, you're fast, but... So, Wendy, uh, no more construction. Go back to... Zeno Germany. So now I'll have the two Xenogerms ready for those prisoners if, if in fact, uh, the poll's already over. All right, accepting both. I do need a, an appropriate bedroom for the dame, though. So I need to fix up the bedroom. So dames require a bedroom that is impressive. It's 40, double bed, end table, and dresser. Uh, so I just need an end table and dresser in here. Where did the shuttle land? Oh, it hasn't landed yet. I was about to cuss them out if, uh... Oh, really, or Hussar? I hope that in planting you with my pacified plus xenogerm doesn't violate the quest I might need to save and save scum because I'm not exactly sure if it's allowed and I don't want to fail the quest on a weird technicality that I'm not aware of so let me hide that pulp unless you guys know without a shadow of a doubt definitively uh, I will be penalized for it but um, just in case so let's see uh, I'm going to immediately just implant. And make sure that uh, it works without me being punished. Okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. This Hussar is now a pacified, and apparently the quest hasn't failed so it didn't matter yeah good now I know now you know we did some hard science Riggs and McDonald was their names man it's like a buddy cop Body cop cast here. It's funny. I'm also uh, almost completely out of heal root, or uh, rather, herbal meds. So <laughs> that's going to be kind of important, given that I have two people dying of blood rot. <laughs> this is why I say, without a shadow of, def of doubt, definitively know that I will be punished. Because a lot of, I mean, I'm not trying to, I won't use your name. I'm not going to call you out in chat, but it's like a lot of people think and then I test it and it's the very opposite. So the words I use were actually chosen carefully of like, um, all right. And you're pacified too. You are 21 years old, but you're a baseliner. So you're. Your genes are useless, so I don't really need to worry about that. And then you're 54. Ooh, I can call aerodrome strikes now, too. Swanky. And now Mass is uh, back up, moving around, and able to feed the prisoners, which is really good, because that means that Wendy doesn't have to do it, and she doesn't want to do it. So that's fantastic. T-Sing's back to shredding mechs, now that his tongue... Now that his anesthesia from the tongue ripping out is uh, is over, and uh, yeah, we're we're getting the dame room putting back together. 
Eggs can be used to water out. Um, eggs can be used to... If, if I had... So, L crabs. the reason why baseliner eggs are pretty worthless is the only people that would ever fertilize them are... Um, are specimens that have already gone through a filtering process. Because... Untampered with species aren't ever able to fertilize base liner eggs unless, like, I enslave them and and I just don't do that. Basically, I'm capturing females because it's easier um, than rather than males. Wait, how are you, Berserk? Didn't I? Oh, I you were the one that was gonna peg leg. Oh, this is stupid. Like the literally the only prisoner that could possibly have to rebel rebelled. Um. Where are you, mess? This is the one that I wanted to sacrifice for, uh... For rep? Or for suppression? Uh, I just can't do it until Mike is conscious, so... Very annoying that Jabaz is... Having a, a bit of a fight club moment. Here, let me make you really regret it. And then punch you. I shot you in the head with a charge rifle, and somehow you're still up and you're an impid. Because impids are famously pathetic. So that's that's actually legitimately impressive. Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, uh, a monument. My goodness, the honor keeps rolling in. Um, it's big, but pretty reasonable. Uh, it's not a terrible amount of honor for the effort. I'll have you vote on that in a minute when I'm not, you know, trying to murder a prisoner. There I go. Tizang, come over here. You've got some tending to do. And I also need to do the Baroness. Oh! When you... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, when you level up, I believe when you rank up, you get full sight focus as a reward. I'm like, kind of, I think that that's the case. So, uh, so I'm not even going to bother meditating right now. I'm just going to wait until everyone that can attend the ceremony is able to attend the ceremony, i.e. when Mike is conscious, because it, it uh, improves my outcome and I get free honor for it. So being patient uh, has its virtues. The reason why these prisoners can't resist is they're all dead calm, so they can't fight. They're all pacified dead calm. They're pacifists. So when the prisoners go berserk, um, none of them will ever fight back, for better or for worse. So if I wanted to farm medical skill, I actually could have let Jevaz just punch almost all of them out and then had T-Sang go tend them without medicine for skill, uh, but... I feel like that would be very annoying for me. Like, I would be... I'd get pissed off with the amount of micromanagement that would cause. Because that's a really important factor that I think a lot of people don't realize is like, I'm reading chat, I'm running polls, I'm streaming, I'm... So I, I don't want to be bogged down with like, stupid things like tending a thousand prisoners for no reason. In fact, I'm gonna knock you unconscious because you pissed me off. It would also risk the prisoner quest? Absolutely. True. Yeah, that's another factor. I think it's really unlikely that it, um, that a weak melee damage impid would ever punch someone to death, but it's not a impossibility. So you're correct about that, 100%. Do I need to convert my... No. The, the way uh, ideological random people joining uh, rituals work is if it does work, they're guaranteed to be of your ideology. Oh, come on. Seriously, Solar Flare? That was a certain finger for Randy. I love you, Randy. Don't smite me. That was a finger I think you like. Thumbs up. It just gives me time to butcher humans.
<laughs> uh, chance 1.9%. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I don't have Joy Fuzz, do I? No, I don't. T Sang's son, Curiosity, died. His organ got harvested. He's in a relatively uh, negative mood. So is that enough to fulfill the dame? Yes, it is. Am I going to do anything about all the waste packs I have stored? Actually, I was about to pull you guys about that. Um... That's the poll I was going to run. Legitimately, I had thought of that. So, should I let the waste packs that we have rot in a remote corner? The idea is I could just let them decay somewhere away from where we care about. And uh, it would save me the effort, time, and energy shipping them off to enemies. Or shuttling them, or whatever. You know? Um, the... There's really not a lot of uh, problems doing that. All it all it would cause is like occasionally we would have to have acidic smog on our map tile or waste pack infestations. But waste pack infestations actually could be incredibly useful because they're dormant infestations. They're dormant um, cocoons full of, of bugs that can be woken up whenever I want to wake them up. So um, they're kind of like face hugger uh, cocoons, right? Like they lurk and they can be used against my enemies. So... Um, they could be useful. Um, and we will always have more. One of the re reasons to keep them is I can piss off certain factions um, on demand. So if I wanted, for instance, for the impids to attack me, I can send them some waste packs and piss them off, and maybe they'll raid me as a result. But it's never like I'm going to be without waste packs. I, I will always, always, always have waste packs available to be uh, to be thrown at people whenever I feel the need to do that. It will boost waster raids? Um, yeah, it could boost waster, waster raids. I. You have to also consider that um, raiders only enter the map tile certain directions. So, for instance, if I let the waste packs decay down here, it will never boost waste raids ever, ever, ever. Because no one will ever enter this map tile. It's not valid. Right. It has Overhead Mountain. So, raiders can't enter a map tile in Overhead Mountain entrances. So, like, if I filled this area with waste packs and let them rot, it would never come back to bite me when fighting wasters. Unless, for some reason or another, the fight was down here, which seems incredibly unlikely. Or here, or, you know, there, there's there's parts of this map that just are of incredibly low risk. This is a long solar flare. Nine hours so far? Maybe it's not that long. But it has definitely killed off my crops. Which ticked me off. So this whole thing was, uh, I was attempting to plant heel root, and it all died. Who's Soup's parents? Uh, Soup's parents, uh, oh, that's not the right tab, is Tsang and Brito. Brito is a prisoner, a Neanderthal prisoner that we have. Once you're done voting on this, we'll vote on whether or not I accept the assembly quest. And Mike is up in 16 hours, so I can uh, do the dame, or no, baroness ceremony in about 16. Wendy. Because we just had a solar flare that destroyed my plants, have you grow for me for a bit. She's passionate about it, so at least it keeps her happy. And then Jevaz.
Oh, I forgot to extract your genes. Once he's out, Mike will be up. So it it uh, the timing coincides pretty perfectly. Thank you for tuning in to the first Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch December 15th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credit. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Wendigos.